Hey everyone, this is Ben back with you in the Midwest Model Shop. In today's short episode, shortish, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to, or how I'm going to assemble the two forward two and a half ton cranes on Titanic. These are going to be put together in the stowed position and uh, yeah, set up like that. We're also going to go ahead and do the two stairs and the forward well deck also. And that completes the last items in the forward well deck for Titanic. The only thing left is like rigging points and things like that for when we do the rigging. So uh, yeah, that takes care of that. Once again, thank you very much for all of our new Patreon contributors. Really do appreciate having you all aboard. And uh, I'll put a link in the description down below to Patreon if anybody else is interested in that because I had a comment about that last time. Again, you're under no obligation to do so. We just really appreciate it. It helps support the shop. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's get into the build. All right, so uh, we're going to put our cranes in, and that means we need to have somewhere for them to rest. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this uh, stand into position. Uh, someone's probably going to complain that I didn't show how to make it. It's just a, it's just a few pieces of photo etch, so I didn't get too crazy about that. But uh, I did place it here right away. I'm checking that it lines up pretty well here centered um, between this hole and this hole and then you know in the middle here but anyway uh, yeah just a few pieces of photo etch and the reason I did this is um, now I'll have somewhere to place my crane and then I can because I'm gonna stack right one one crane goes down here first and the other one goes on top uh, I could I could get that angle right, and then at the end we'll put the brackets on here that strap everything into position. But we we'll start out with just installing that piece first. So that's uh, yeah, that takes care of that. Um, now let's go build a crane. All right, uh, we'll start out with our crane piece here. The first thing you gotta do is throw a couple of bends in it. Here's the second one. All right, now uh, there's a whole bunch of little structural supports that drop in here, so we're gonna go ahead and install them. Actually, before I get too carried away with myself, uh, there's this main pulley right here. It's a very nicely done piece uh, that's turned brass, and you gotta put these little covers on them here one on each side and that gets installed first and it's not a big deal just drop a little CA glue on and I'm very pleased KA made the hole the right size to allow the turn piece of brass to fit through I didn't have to do anything to adjust that so now we need to install this in the front of the crane all right, so here's the front of the crane. You kind of have to, unfortunately, undo a little bit of what you've done. Uh, it's kind of hard to bend this. But there's a couple little holes. There we go. So drops in position just like that, and uh, for the time being, it will even spin. Okay, now we can go ahead and just start dropping in all of these little uh, support pieces. Okay, so here's the first one. We'll go ahead and drop it in up in the front here. There's a little slot you can see where they sit, and you just push it down, and that's it. Go to the next one. Set it in like so. And then you just keep progressing your way on down the line to the end here. So I'll come back with that taken care of. Okay, back. Uh, all those little ridges that you see there are installed. No big deal, right? Uh, now, what you have to do, and I just do this with, with tweezers, is this little H-shaped section needs to be folded over. Uh, so, 
it's best just to go start at the top where there's kind of a tab and just take your tweezers and get it started. So everywhere there's a little tab where it's connected, I'm, I'm bending it down. And yeah, you get to, you get to about here, okay? And up here, uh, this is kind of a critical space because you have to clear this pulley. So we'll kind of just pop this over on the other side. And then I just push it down. Like that. And then we'll come back here and just finish kind of your your 90 degree bend. So now you're left with this little loose space, this this guy right here. He just kind of needs to come over to the side and get glued into position. So you could start up here towards the top. See how it's loose? Get yourself some fresh CA. So just take a little bit of CA glue We'll run it into that gap. You get a little on top, it's okay. We'll sand it off later. And then just, uh, yeah, kind of pinch it together and work your way on down uh, until it's glued into place. All right, press it on. All right, uh, I think this is M19, this is M7. This is a little pulley arrangement that ends up on top of your uh, uh, crane cradle. It's they give you this little pulley right here that I'm kind of going to glue and bend in half. Um, the bummer about it is it doesn't really sit suspended in the piece, uh, which is a bummer. It, it obviously drops right there. And then when you fold this over, you end up kind of not seeing it, but that's all right. We'll do it anyway. So you drop that there. And then see if I could do this. Hold this down like this. We'll just flip this up. And then it's another 90. And it, so see on the back there, there's like that little raised space right there. So you end up basically right here with it but see how the pulley kind of like disappears in there regardless that's it's still pretty good so then these two things get bent uh sideways because we're going to go ahead and put them on the, the cradle of the crane here again uh don't do this in front of a video camera it makes the job a lot easier you can put your hands where you need to so we turn this sideways, like so. Anyway, uh, let's glue this on. It'll, it'll all kind of come together. What I'm going to do is turn this sideways a little bit. We're going to take a scotch of CA glue and drop it right there. We're going to take this guy. We're going to pick it up, and I'm going to put the whole thing kind of in position like this. I want to get this... This is the important part, that you get that pulley right like so. And then see how it tucks up next to the frame right there? That is good. I'm going to put a dab of CA glue right there. I want it to stay put. The other side is very close to being in the right position. It's wonderful. We'll put a little bit of glue over here. I'll go for the tweezer assist. Okay, and then same right here. This little tab uh, needs to be sitting flush on the frame. I'll put just a dab of CA glue there. That was a little too much. I'll wipe some of that off. Okay, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tip this up and basically straighten it out. You want it, okay, that's it.
so that's the bulk of your crane assembly for now. Now let's move on to the actual uh, the electric motor part of it. All right, here is the KA provided uh, photo etch crane. I've already pulled it off. Its detail is immaculate. It's it's wonderful. Uh, so we've got a few photo etch pieces that we got to throw on here, and the first one we're going to throw on is really fragile. It's November 30, and the instructions are very vague, but it actually goes right here on this slot. It's two tiny little levers, and that's what they are. They are the operating levers for the crane. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull those loose, and I'll show you how I install them. All right, here's my tiny little lever, and I'm just going to drop it down here, a little bit of CA glue, and I want it slightly away from the edge because uh, that's the pictures that I saw. And this little knob on the top, I think actually should be painted black, or at least we're going to do that when we're done. So let me grab the other one. All right, here's the second one. I've just got a big dollop of CA glue on there. And they probably should be a lot closer together than they are. Uh, I'll leave them like that. And they're split just a little bit here. Let's see if I can pull this one out. You could put a little bend in the bottom of the levers um, just to separate them, but you know, we don't need to fuss over it too much. All right, so now the next part is the railing. And yeah, let's do that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and apply the railing around here. And it is teeny tiny and very fragile. I annealed it though. Annealing it is holding this to a flame until the color changes. This little method I'm gonna show you for this dealie works better uh, if this railing is soft. So we're gonna grab some CA glue. I'm just gonna put a little bit right along this edge right here. And, oh boy, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the bottom side and I'm going to attach it to the edge. We're going to, we're going to glue to the face of the crane right here. And I'm going to use it to gently pull the bottom around. I'm just going to do a little bit. And I'm going to hold it here until that glue sets up. All right, so now we've got a little bit of glue installed on here, and it appears to be going the direction that we want. Again, super fragile, so I'm going to apply some more glue right to this edge. And very carefully draw this around. Whoop, come off of there. There we go. And I'm just going to hold it there. Now, you can see the whole thing is kind of leaning slightly. That's okay. It's annealed. We'll be able to move it and uh, make a correction to it when we're done. But you can't do, you can't make any adjustments uh, unless this base is solid and in place, right? So once you've kind of got it on there, come back and just build up a little shelf of CA glue along this edge right here. And give it plenty of time to set up and dry. All right, we'll come back when that's done. So now there's a little piece of photo etch that goes on top of this handle right there. We'll get that, it's a uh, piece N39. All right, here's the little piece. I've just put a bunch of CA glue on it, and I'm gonna come down here, touch it to the top of the railing. I'm gonna let go, and there it is. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's like a little handle right there that I installed or what, but it's in the instructions, and I. I'll try and look at the drawings a little better for the ship, see if I can figure it out. But anyway, uh, that's that. You can take this out and set it down. Let's let all this set up for a second, and then we're going to take 
both of these pieces and go to the ship. Uh, and the reason I say that is the next thing we want to do is take this thing and we're just going to glue it into position. It goes like right there, right? But I don't know that it lays perfectly flat. And I want this one to go together first and the next um, crane layer would stack on top of it in the stowed position. We're working on the bow uh, anchor crane. Sorry if I didn't mention this. This is the two and a half ton cranes. So we're going to set this up on top of its mount and we're going to place this in a position and get our angle for gluing this together and then we'll press on from there. All right, so uh, let's take our little crane guy and set him right here. Um, he's just, I'm just eyeballing it. And then we'll grab this piece, put it in a position and let him drop down. All right, let's get right about yay now the uh, staircase is a little bit of a trouble problem right here we'll we'll make some adjustments to that railing later but I really just wanna double check that I can get this seated correctly here because what I'm noticing hopefully you can see in the camera here is that it looks like this is a little bit down from here implying that it doesn't lay flat um, like you would see, uh, like like I had it on the table. This is slightly elevated on this end. So I am happy with that. What I'm gonna do is get some CA glue on here now and just try to lock that crane into position. Okay, I think we're pretty good right there. Double check that we're straight. Yeah. That's pretty close. All right, so I'll get that off, uh, get it glued up, and double check what I've got going here. Press it on. So I wanted to take a look at, uh, here you are, page 486, Titanic the Ship Magnific Magnificent. Here's the crane jig stowage arrangement. And this is what we are concerned with right here. This is the forward wall deck 2.5 ton cranes. And hopefully you could see here that the one on the port side, this is port, is slightly elevated from the starboard side one. And the way these little uh, support arrangements are supposed to be, this one's supposed to be higher uh, than the one on the left. So we have two problems here. The kit supplied bases are the same height and the KA photo etch arms right here are also the same height so it's a level. So what we've done to make things right, as you saw previously, I, I put the port side crane in a position and we've established the boom uh, laid down where it needs to go. The issue is this one is going to sit too low. So the solution is going to be to take the anchor point, the pivot point of this crane arm, and we're going to lift it up slightly on our uh, crane control here and it will go out level also. It's not correct, but it will work with the parts that we have and it will look good. So let me show you what I've done to make that happen. All right, so because we're gonna have to mount the crane, instead of right down here at the pivot points, it needs to actually come up and sit right above this edge. Uh, that's just where we're gonna glue it. I went ahead and installed a couple of little styrene fillers right here so that this fits snug onto our resin and I'll be able to glue it in a position level as well. So yeah, that's the, that's the solution. So I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll press on. All right, so while things are drying, I needed to talk about one more modification here. Our really nice fancy stairs that we put in right there, as you can see, I've cut the railing. So one of the issues is when the crane's mounted here and it comes across, you bang into this railing. And this is the KA staircase. So I just went ahead and cut it and put a little bend in it right here. And the reason I did that is it allows the crane to sit straight across. We're gonna kinda do like a, an illusion here because 
even though this looks messed up and it's like, hey, it went down, you changed the angle, something's not right here. When the crane is in position, it all makes sense. Your eye's okay with this railing coming down and dipping in behind it. There's so much going on with the crane that you don't see it. It all fits and it works nicely. You don't see the cut on the bottom here. So that is how I handled that uh, entire situation. And I just wanted you guys to see uh, that's the case. If you have a better fix, if a different stair fits here, uh, it's possible there wasn't a stair here and there was just a gate and this was closed. I don't exactly uh, remember, but I like I like this staircase and I like having it in, so we're, we're just going to do that for now. It's all going to work out. Um, the next thing we need to do is take our cranes to paint. Okay, so we've got our paint on the cranes thus far and we're letting it dry. Uh, while that's happening, I've gone ahead and primed up our staircases. They've got the white paint on them too. And then the treads down the middle here, uh, just like everything else, has uh, Model Master Light Ghost Gray. Uh, what I'm going to paint on the side here is something I keep getting asked, and that's my interpretation of the mast red. Uh, that's this color. Ooh, my right down in there that that red that everybody wants to see this kind of orangey color so here's the deal how i arrived at this and and that color is my interpretation from the ken marshall paintings that my client likes i paint these things white first right just like you see right there and then i apply uh, this model master skin tone warm intensity now Here's the thing about all this. I know you can't get the Model Master paint anymore. And by the way, all of the colors that I use on all my builds are located on uh, the website, themidwestmodelshop.com. Click on the Paint Reference tab. I write them all down there because people, I've, I've done some of these builds like years ago, and people ask me today, what color did you use for that? And honestly, I don't, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, this is the color that I use over the white because by itself, I think it's a little too dark to get that uh, color. Now, quick comment about that. So here's the deal. I know a lot of you are saying, Ben, I can't go out here and buy this bottle of Model Master paint, hardly any Model Master paints. And because what happened was years ago, uh, Model Master was sold off to Rust-Oleum and Rust-Oleum decided that Model Master either didn't make enough money or was something they weren't interested in anymore and they cut the whole line. So as a result, you have all of these other manufacturers who have come along. Uh, True North makes uh, all enamel paints if you want to go straight enamel again he's working on his formula uh, a, a totally acceptable acrylic solution and equal to the stuff in my opinion uh, is anything by AK especially the new stuff and then also uh, life color paints absolutely fantastic and you will find a lot of these companies have exact matches for this kind of paint what you're going to have to do is just go out there and look for it. Um, unfortunately, not everybody has the answer for you as far as what exact color paint do I get to replace this one. That's part of the model building process is going out, getting new colors ex of paint, experimenting with them, and perhaps even making your own custom versions to satisfy uh, your needs. All right, let's get back into it. So I kind of do something different here where I'm pre-painting these stairs while they're flat and then I'm going to put them in my vise after the fact and fold them and the reason I'm doing that is it just makes this painting process a lot easier and I'd rather come back and do some touching up here and there than attempt to try and paint all these uh, you know like this whole little beam right here with these stair treads folded up into position that would just be really awkward and hard to do so that's why I just go ahead and apply this ahead of time like so, and we'll let it set up. So anyway, uh, that's that color right there that I was talking about. So we'll go ahead and knock this out and uh, yeah, press on. All right, back in action. Uh, I've put some, a couple of decals that I've got from an aftermarket company on the crane there on uh, both sides. It just identifies as a two and a half ton crane. That's what they're called, two and a half ton cranes. I'll let you figure out why. Uh, I've got this white piece of paper here so that you can see the photo etch that um, I've removed that we're going to install next. And we'll start off with this one. It goes in the middle. And basically, 
what you need to know is this loop right here goes over the pulley and this little hook drops into the slot uh, right up there in the center and the top and this whole thing just kind of sits in the middle so yeah it's as long as you I don't know I guess the word is be careful and don't bend it too much it kind of just pops right into position and holds so that you can uh, glue it down right at least that's what I'm hoping while I'm doing this on camera here so we'll just uh, guide this on over push that right on down boom there we go it looks good and then we'll drop this little hook guy in like that actually went in really well all right so now um try and center it over this gear right here i'll do that and then what i'm gonna do take a dot of ca glue and kind of put it strategically in the middle of one of these spots here where the line lays and just center it and call it good i, I just want to and then we'll put a little on the gear here you know this the idea is to just keep it from kind of moving around all over the place that's all we're trying to do because it's not going to hold anything it's not going to go anywhere there we go and you're set and on the bottom it's a little more tricky see how it's flying up in the air but basically if we zoom in a hair here uh, we're going to do the same thing just pick like a center of the x right there put a dot of ca glue push this down so once this sets up you're good to go then it's kind of a delicate part we got to do next but it'll be all right okay so that worked out nice and then uh, see that big curve right there put a little dot on the spot right before it kind of the last place where it touches the X because what we're gonna do is of course now it's white you can't tell there you go right here there's a little hook we're gonna take the cranes hook attach it to there the weight's going to come up and attach right here to the end of this uh, line so we'll monkey with that in a minute so that one that was pretty easy now we've got um, these little lines right here and and what I found so they connect right here and basically right in this area I pick them up with my tweezers and see the little dot on the end I'm just going to dip those in some CA glue. There we go. Gets lucky and drop it right on. Center that up. And then we'll put a little assisting dot of CA glue right here. Okay, so that's one side done. Now we just need to throw the other one on. Just like that. Get that glue to stick, and we're good. Alright, and then we'll put it just dab more CA right over on this end to hold it and we're set it's another one done now all we gotta do is uh, attach this piece down here it's two brass pieces like the weight and the hook uh, I went ahead and assembled it already I'm gonna paint this up real quick black because that will save you a little time then we'll put it in position okay I'm gonna try and do this on camera have it make sense I've painted up my my hook and I anticipate it getting messed up during this process but as long as the the hook on the end uh, stays semi the right color it makes the rest of this pretty easy but basically I'm gonna start by fishing this up through here 
and literally hooking it like so into position and then it hangs like that so now what I need to do is put a dot of glue on here and tip this thing up so that they touch and I wish KA had put a little hole in the end of the ballast weight here um, they didn't pop my little wire up here like that so from the side it's connected put a dab of CA glue right up here to encourage the hook to stay in place another little dab right here to encourage that wire to stay in place and that's it we've got ourselves a crane ready to go oh I gotta touch up some paint so I'm gonna put a couple dots on the uh, levers the actuating levers right up there uh, we'll touch up the black right here and a couple of dabs of white and I'll come back to you here we'll get them installed on the ship pressing on okay here we go uh, port side crane first I'm just gonna put a bunch of CA glue right here where it goes yeah we're just gonna drop it in a position and eyeball centering it up I apologize I know my fingers are in the way looks good set down like so now uh, some of the hardcore enthusiasts may note that uh, there are blocks wooden blocks that get set on top of the crane right here to help with the spacing of the next crane and we might put those in I, I, I don't think it's necessary um, but we might do it so that looks good uh, the other concern I have slightly is once these are in place there's uh, straps like the metal steel straps that go over the top of these things we might have to play a little game with making them the right length if I've inadvertently done anything to upset the height here so let's set the next one on see what we've got going on here so it's gonna go like that and I think you can see there's a little bit of a gap. I might try and offset this just a hair. A little bit of a gap right there. So we might be able to get away with putting in two of the two fake wood blocks to simulate kind of the spacing that goes right there. So what I'll do, let me cut some tiny little pieces of styrene and, and paint them up real quick. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, I've added three little wood blocks right there. They're just pieces of styrene turned on to end, painted with AK Light Earth. Uh, I think they, they're close enough to the book's position uh, where it says they go, and I think they look the part. So, go ahead and drop this other crane on. Eyeball that, make sure I got it centered up here uh, and that'll take care of it then we just have to put the three straps on uh, to lock the you know the hold the cranes in position so that they don't go anywhere and then that'll take care of our two uh, two and a half ton cranes up here on the bow and the forward cargo hatcher all right press it on Okay, now we're back here up at the bow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in our two stairs. And as you can see right here, I have two black ladders. They go there because Titanic had those. And before anybody else asks me, because I know you're just gonna flip out when I tell you this, where did this come from? These ladders came from my spare parts kit. Uh, this I believe came from an extra out of the USS Missouri. That's where I got them from. So if you want to do something like that, uh, you're going to have to get yourself a spare set of ladders from somewhere. That's just the bottom line. That being said, go ahead and grab our first one. Drop it down like so. And I apologize if my fingers get in the way here. Okay, I might have to do a little touching up. 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull these out. I think I think they need to tip in a little bit more here. So we'll pull that one. Uh, yes, that's much, much better here. It, it's tough to get it leaning, you know, the right amount of, the right angle in and out. So then we'll correct this one. That's a lot better. I think you can tell even in the camera shot here that, um, it looks a lot better. Let it ride. If I need to adjust it again in the future, I will, but we'll touch it up. So, uh, yeah, that takes care of it. Let's go ahead and take a look at, um, at, at everything that we did. Okay, we are at the conclusion of the Ford Well deck. So here are the two two and a half ton cranes in their cradles and strapped in all nice a couple decals ready to go ready to be released and ready to bring some cargo in and then we pivot around to the front we have our two staircases and as you can see the little ladder in the back again that is a part I had left over from uh, my USS Missouri build that is a spare piece two spare pieces that I have in my stash. You will need to do the same thing. The kit does not supply those ladders, KA does not supply those ladders, and Pontos does not supply those ladders. I apologize about the wiggliness. It's very difficult to pan around everything to get the well deck and not have a little bit of shakiness, so I'm sorry about that. I'm just trying to keep things in focus. So that takes care of our well deck um, and the first two cranes. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process for the cranes uh, and the back of the ship next. We'll get a couple more in, and I think we'll start worrying about the mass. We're starting to get close, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, that's it. One more good look here at our cranes. I think they look nice. Decals look nice. Nice little addition there. And uh, yeah. Backed up, here's the whole ship. They don't seem as significant when you're all the way back here, but they're part of the whole build. And so we'll come back here. Uh, we've got these two here. and. This side and the other side. I'll put the little stand in. Uh, I'll get those together. I'll show it to you next time. And then I think we'll we'll move on to the mass. We'll have an episode about the mass. That'll really change the dynamics of things because it'll add a lot of height to the ship that uh, the model that I've enjoyed not having so far. So anyway, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, and found this episode helpful. We will see you next time.